my name is Kimberly, I'm the Audible Book Reader, and today we're playing Battleship Picks My May TBR. So stick around. Okay, so before we get into May's game, let's take a look at how I did for March and April. And if you remember, I ended up just combining the two because March and April were quite hectic months, as will May be. <laughs> I'm sure for everyone. I don't I don't know where the year's gone. I can't believe we're, you know, almost halfway through uh, 2021. Anyways, I um let's look at how I did. So I had 11 books. The first one was the book that's been on my TBR the longest, and for this I chose um, the book that had been on my Goodreads TBR the longest that I actually owned. And I um, read Last Hope Island by Lynn Olson. This was narrated by author Maury with a introduction with Kimberly Farr, and I did read this in April. Uh, the next one was a chapter that has an art title page, and for this I read the second book in the Morgan Crows series, um, and I did Wondersmith, and this is by Jessica Townsend and narrated by Gemma Whelan, and I did read that. The next book was a book about a natural disaster, and for this I chose Isaac Storm, by um, Eric Lawson, and this was narrated by Richard Davison. Loved this, it was very informative, and I did read that in March. The next book was A Person on the Cover, and for this I was able to do my Hey Reader, Read My Bookshelf challenge, um, and this was recommended by a friend, and I chose Clean Sweep, by Alana Andrews and narrated by Renee Rodman. And I enjoyed that book. Didn't enjoy the narration quite as much, but did read it. Uh, the next one was a book from my 2020 backlist TBR. And so what I did here was I went to my Audible account and looked at all of the books that I had purchased in 2020. And I ended up choosing to read or listen to Dear Luna, the final chapter. This is by Amber Crawley and narrated by Murphy Napier. And I did listen to that and loved it. It was a great ending to that series. Um, the sixth book was Brings Out the Geek in You. Dog, squeaky toy. So the next book was um, a book that brings out the geek in you. And for this, I decided to do my last Leadership Academy or Institute book, which was Driving Innovation from Within by Kalan um, Kiffendorf. And this was narrated by Chris Swanson, and I did get to this in April. The next book was a WTF plot twist. And for this, I didn't know because I hadn't read it, but I decided to pick The Thief by Megan Reelan Turner. And this was narrated by Steve West. And I was lucky because there was a plot twist in there that I really enjoyed. This is a first book in a series and I'm excited to go on to the next book at some point. <laughs> so, all right. Still moving along. I hit a bunch of boats. I think I hit six boats in March. So now we're going on to historical with a twist. And for this, I was also able to use the buzzwordathon, which for March was the word time. And for this, I picked a um, I picked a ripple in time. So it was a historical. Uh, but with time travel. This was by Victor Zug and narrated by Sean William Doyle. All right, so the ninth book. <laughs> I can't believe it. This dog has not played with a squeaky toy in the last three days. Okay. Um, book number nine was a non-binary protagonist, and for this I chose the 57 bus. Um, this was by Dakisha Slater and narrated by Robin Miles, and I did listen to this book. The 10th book was A Snake on the Cover, 
And for this I chose a Reptile, The Reptile Room um, by Lemony Snicket's and this was narrated by Tim Curry. Narration was awesome. Tim Curry did an amazing job. Um, so loved listening to that book. Uh, the 11th book was a hubby pick and my husband was super excited to pick out a book for me and he chose The Killer Angels by Michael Schwara and this was narrated by Stephen Hoy and I did get to this one as well. And um, that was all of the Battleship TBR books. I had a few other books that I had to read but it wasn't a Battleship. Okay, so let's get on with May's TBR. And for this month, I'm going to stick with my original rule that if I hit a boat, I get an extra pick, but only up to two times. Um, again, this month is a little crazy. I have a bunch of stuff to do at work, so. <sighs> okay, I'm like nervous. <laughs> All right, let's see, how many boats will I hit? Hopefully let's just hit two and then I'll have seven books. <laughs> All right, book number one. Okay, draw number one. All right, we got E4. E, oh, first one out, first one out, E4, and Okay, so E4 is a book you're giving another chance. Okay, so book number one, I got a book I'm giving another chance. And for this book, I decided to go with 1984 by George Orwell. And this book will also hit the Hey Reader a thon, read your backlist challenge that I've been doing, which was read a book you should have read in high school. And I think I did read this in high school, but who knows, maybe I only did the cliff notes, maybe I didn't read it, maybe I read it and I don't really remember it, but anyways, here we go. George Orwell's 1984. Alrighty, and I hit a boat on the very first try, so let's see how this month goes. Um, round two. C1 and C1, nothing but water. C1, read a middle grade or YA book that doesn't take place in the US or the UK. Okay, C1. So for this one, I got read a middle grade or young adult book that does not take place in the US or in the United Kingdom. So I decided to, there were so many. I actually went on to a Facebook group and asked for recommendations. And I probably got like 30 recommendations. Some of them I had read already. Um, most of them I had not. So I went with one that I could get at my library right now. <laughs> and for this, I chose a long walk to water and this is by Linda Sue Park and it's narrated by um, David Baker and Cynthia Bishop, um, Bishop and an interesting side note that I saw on the library thing is said that the dialect coach was James Achieville I don't know but apparently he used to have to walk a long way for his water too so I really don't know much about the book but I'm excited to check it out all right Number three. Let's get to the bottom. Oh, C8. We've got C. Okay, this is second boat hit. C8. Picked by a friend or trusted reviewer. Okay, so for book number three, Three, I got picked by a friend or trusted reviewer and for this I decided to text my friend Pauline who's also in one of my um, book club books book club um, and she um, you can see here I texted her and she went with Ransom by Julie Garwood uh, she's told me about this book 
um, many times. So I am excited to listen to this. Uh, for the narrators that I don't know at this point, I will for sure let you know the narrators um, as I listen to them. So, okay, let's go on to book number four. Okay, four. F2. F2. Okay, <laughs> kids book in a different language. Okay, book four, F2. Um, so this one was interesting. Um, I got kids book in a different language. Now, when I was coming up with these prompts back in December, I thought it would be kind of fun to um, have a kids book. Uh, so I have family in Europe that and they all speak like at least three languages and I only speak English um, poorly, but I wanted to work either on French or Spanish. So I decided to take um, this book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? But in French, and I was gonna just try and look up all the words and translate it. I mean you know, look it up in a French English dictionary. So um, it's a kid's book, it's short. Um, I liked this one because it would go over animals and colors. Uh, and I don't know, when I was coming up with the prompts, I thought that would be a fun idea. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to book number five. I six. I six. Alrighty. Let's do I six. Don't book. Alright. Okay. I six. And for this one, I got an adult book, which was great because I am going to choose Sit, Stay, Speak by Annie England Noblin, and this is for my library um, book club uh, book this month. So I was able to get that book in. So we've done our first five. I've gotten two extra hits. Uh, so let's draw for that. So book number six. D10. D10. Ten. D10. Read a height book or author. Okay, D10. For D10, I got read a height book or author. So for this one, I decided to do The Dutch House by Anne Pratchett. And this book, um, I've been wanting to listen to this for quite some time. I've been told it was on one of my booktube, my first booktube spin list, and out of all of the books on that list, this one got the most comments. Um, Tom Hanks narrates this book, and so I have been really excited to pick it up. This also meets the Buzz Wordathon, which is either house or home in the title, so seems like a perfect pick. Alrighty, let's go on to the last book, book number seven. We have F8. All right, we're gonna hit a boat? Nope. <laughs> Alrighty, no boats. Okay, F8, no hit, which I was a little sad about because I want to get a boat sunk, but I'm also happy because I could only read an extra two books this month, so um, yay. Anyways, F8 was a book longer than 12 hours. So for this book, I decided to choose Significantly Advanced Magic by Andrew Rowe. 
and this is my spine crackers book club book for the month um and i don't know much about it at this point but i think it's a young adult uh it's definitely over 12 hours and um so i'm excited uh so yeah this is my seven books for the month and i'm not mad about this list i got several of my book club books uh in here i got um my buzzwordathon and the hay reader book in here as well and um uh, i feel like this is going to be quite manageable uh so uh anyways uh have you read any of these books and uh would you say like the dutch house is a hyped book that i should be uh reading um, are there, uh, uh, have you translated a kid's book before? I mean, if you only speak one language, um, I don't know if this is going to be a good experiment or a bad experiment, but I'm excited. So anyways, um, all right, I'll leave any comments below and I will catch you next month. Bye. So maybe next month we will sink a boat. So, alrighty.